Mark Taylor Knowledge Not June 1, 2022 A now parable from I Kings chapter 18 and parts of I Kings 21. Now it came to pass that in the days of great famine in the land and as the peoples languished, that the prophets of the Lord God came to Ahab. Ahab seeing the prophets of the Lord God said to them, Is that you, O troubler of America? And they answered, We have not troubled America, but you and your father's house have, in that you have forsaken the commandments of the Lord and have followed the Baals. Now therefore, send and gather all of America to us on M.T. Carmel, the four hundred and fifty prophets of Baal and the four hundred prophets of Asherah, who eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent for all of America and gathered the prophets of Baal and Asherah together on M.T. Carmel. And the prophets of the Lord God came to America's peoples and said, How long will you falter between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him, but if Baal, follow him. But the peoples remained silent and did not answer, not a word. Then the prophets of the Lord God said to the peoples, We alone are left standing but Baal's prophets cover the land. Therefore, let them bring their sacrifices and lay them upon altar that they make of wood and stubble, but put no fire under it. We will also prepare it upon the Lord God's altar, but put no fire under it. Then you call upon the name of your gods and we will call on the name of the Lord, and the God who answers by fire, he is God. So all the peoples of America said, It is well spoken. Then the prophets of the Lord God said to the prophets of Baal, Call on the name of your God, but put no fire under the scarfice and altar. So the prophets of Baal called upon the name of Baal from morning till noon saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no answer. Then they leaped about the altar and at noon the prophets of the Lord God mocked them and said, Cry aloud for he is God, either he is meditating, or he is busy, or he is on a journey, or perhaps he is sleeping and must be awakened. So the prophets of Baal cried aloud and cut themselves until the blood gushed out of them. And when evening came they there still was no voice heard, no one answered them, no one paid attention. Then the prophets of the Lord God said to the peoples, Come near to us. So the peoples came near. And they repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down and the prophets of the Lord took stones according to the number of the peoples. With the stones they built the altar in the name of the Lord and they made a trench around the altar large enough to hold two seas of seed. And they put wood in order, and said, Fill four water pots with water and pour it on the offering and on the wood. Then the prophets of the Lord God said, Do it a second time. And they said, Do it a third time. So the water ran all around the altar and the prophets also filled the trench with water. And it came to pass, at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that the prophets of the Lord God said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in America and we are your servants and that we have done all these things at your word. Hear us, O Lord, hear us, that this people may know that you are the Lord God and that you have turned their hearts back to you again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and it licked up the water that was in the trench. Now when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. The prophets of the Lord God said to the peoples, Seize the prophets of Baal, do not let them escape. And all the prophets of Baal, all the prophets that ate at Jezebel's table, all the flesh agents of Satan were executed at the brook Kishon. Then the prophets of the Lord God said, Go up, eat and drink, for there is the sound of abundance of rain. Then came the rain. The skies became black with clouds and wind and there was a heavy rain. The hand of the Lord came upon his prophets and they girded up their loins and ran ahead of Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel, where they were threatened by Jezebel. They went their way into the wilderness and awaited the Lord's instruction. Then Jezebel promised Ahab the vineyard of America. Then the Lord God instructed his prophets go to the vineyard of America where Ahab sits to take possession of it. You shall tell him this, thus says the Lord, you have murdered, stolen, destroyed, deceived, bound, in order to take possession of America. 
in the place where dogs lick the blood of the innocents, the dogs shall lick your blood. Behold! I will bring calamity on you, I will take away your posterity and will cut off Ahab and every person that has followed after you, Jezebel and those who have bowed down to Baal. The dogs shall eat Jezebel by the wall of Jezreel. The dogs shall eat whoever belongs to Ahab and dies in the city and the birds of the air shall eat whoever dies in the field. And so a parable from the hand of the Lord God to his people in America. Know now that these things will come to pass. Know now that these things are already being done. Give him the Lord God praise and honor and glory through his son Christ Jesus. Now watch the fire of the Lord fall and consume. For the Lord your God is a consuming fire, Mark Taylor Knowledge not June 1, 1980